Well, good morning, everybody. Here I am still in Halifax. <laughs> um, okay, so Deuteronomy chapter 1 and 2. It seems that we're flying through these books. It just seems like we started numbers. We're already into Deuteronomy. So Deut Deuteronomy 1 to 2. And there's one thing that really uh, struck me as funny uh, in reading this. Um, 38 years was dismissed in one sentence. When it's recorded, that God uh, said, "Okay, you've you've been marching around this mountain long enough. It's time to move on." That's thirty-eight years in one sentence. Thirty-eight years is just summed up in that one sentence, and um, a whole generation died out in that one sentence, and a new generation had been been trained um, in obedience to Yahweh. In that one sentence, it just uh, just struck me that, and, and we knew we know this to be true that that um, time doesn't apply to our father. It's yeah, a thousand years is like a day, and a day is like a thousand years. We 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 know that, um, but I don't think we understand how that impacts our lives which in comparison to eternity is very 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 short um, we may at the end of our lives feel that it, it's been a long time um, I know a number of people who uh, they read reach a certain age and and they're they're ready they're just they're tired they've uh, spent enough time here and, and they're ready to go home and there's other people who just keep uh, pressing on and pressing on and uh, they never seem to tire um, but it, it still comes down to a very short period of time and, and when you see how dismissive 38 years is then we have to understand that we have to have a lot more patience than, than what we often show uh, we, we pray and, and we become impatient when um, that prayer isn't answered for um, you know a week let alone a month, let alone 10 years, let alone 60 years. And, and preparation for, for some ministries and, and stuff may take 60 years of preparation. It, it may be 60 years of preparation for, for 10 years of ministry. Uh, it's, we, we have a problem with our concept of time because we're, we're micromanagers and, and uh, we fill our days to the very minute, and, and if we're not busy with something, then, then we're wasting time. And, and just the way we talk about time, you know, we, we save time, <clears throat> we spend time, um, we waste time. So time is, is a commodity. And, uh, and while well, there's even phrases like time is money, and um, we pay people by the hour, you know, th th this kind of idea. And... Um, if we're if we're to get along in the kingdom, if we're if we're to do the, the kingdom stuff, then we we need to change our whole notion of time and timekeeping, and and the way the Lord works, um, and how quickly or how slowly He works, and it's it's um, it, we got to understand. There's always things on the back burner, uh, and there's things up front. And when He says go, it means it's. Um, he's been preparing he's been preparing for who knows for how long for this moment and we need to make the the most uh, of that opportunity it, what may seem to us like a chance meeting or 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 just a one-off or is part of something in that person's life so if we encounter somebody in the grocery line and we we have a conversation with them Understand that that conversation isn't everything. That the conversation is is an, another another brick, another thing that the Lord is is building in that person's life. That there's circumstances, things have led to that conversation, and what what you speak into them is is going to lead to another conversation or another thing that's going to happen. And we have to <clears throat> we have to get this picture that people aren't just sitting around and waiting for an encounter with us. 
um, that we're only one encounter of many things that are, that are happening in their lives. And we begin to understand that the Lord spends years and years and years and years in, in building people and preparing and, and, and such. So if you, if you feel that you're, you know, that your life is, is a waste, uh, understand that uh, it's, it's all in preparation for what he has planned. And there could be many things that are planned and he's laid in a, um, a, a big preparation for the things that you need to step into. And I hold this out for, for our friend Peter, who is going through this whole cancer thing. And I really believe that, that um, a huge miracle, a huge miracle is going to be seen because Peter is being released in, in, into such a place. And he has to, he's going to have to live through it in order to know how to uh, manage what is being given to him. And this is what we're talking about. And I hope I'm not talking around in circles and you're all confused. It's just in, in the way that that 38 years was summed up in one sentence uh, and a nation stepped into its own after those 38 years. It was 38 years, 40 years when you when it's all added up, uh, 40 years of, uh, of of desert work in order to know how to how to manage how to be obedient and, and manage what was being given to them. So don't despise, don't despise it, people. Grow into it. You guys be blessed, be encouraged, and uh, be patient.